My name is Jason Gerald. I am the, the contest lead for the Immersive Reality Contest. We had 48 submissions this year, and the top three finalists are here with me today. We have Near Field VR with Mark Bolas. We have Immersive Explorer with the Foundation Partners. And we have the Salt Systems in VR. And we're here today to announce our winner, and that is Mark Polis from USC Institute for Creative Technologies. Right, thank Mark, you. Thank congratulations. You Thanks. Mark will be receiving a full conference pass to SeaGraph next year, and one of our contestants will be receiving an Oculus Rift DK2. Mark, would you like to say a few words? Well, I mean, my first VR experience was a show we put on in 1991 in ETEC. So SIGGRAPH has had these places for people to experience virtual reality and advanced technologies. And I just want to say that in all three of these pieces, I think there was something new that could be seen. In Neverblind, I've got a, a physicality of the bicycle versus the depth data that I hadn't experienced before, so that was a first for me. In Immersive Explorer, there was a torch and I almost felt like I was gonna burn my face and that I should smell the alcohol from the torch. So hopefully Nearfield also gave uh, stop motion animation pieces. Each one of these should have given something new that nobody can see anywhere else in the world other than here at Emerging Tech. And um, it was really fun to be able to experience all these worlds. To do Nearfield VR, we had to combine the skills of people across the university. And I just wanted to point out the value of academic research that way. As you look at the sign, you notice that we have researchers from the School of Cinematic Arts, from the Institute of Creative Technology, from the Viterbi School of Engineering. And it's only in that academic context that we can get this interdisciplinary to work to pull off a complete experience. So you may be showing the sign as your next cut, but I thought it's really important to look at the diversity of skills that university research can make possible. Thank you.